What are you doing to bring the National Geospatial Intelligence Center to St. Clair County? Yes, uh, we're, we're, in fact, we went into detail on that uh, today. That's an incredibly exciting uh, opportunity for a major economic development here in southwestern Illinois. We got a detailed walkthrough. I was brought up to speed, and I now having seen the issues, there is clear strategic advantage to our government, our federal government, and our, our, our safety, and the uh, opportunity is impactful for both, for everyone. Huge opportunity to bring that to Illinois. We've got to grow our way out of our challenges. The one message I've tried to deliver everywhere I go is, we can't cut our way out of our challenges, we cannot tax our way out of our challenges, we've got to grow. We've got to become a growth state. Pro-investment, pro-healthy economy, pro-rising incomes, with strong careers for everyone. That means changing the regulatory climate here in Illinois, changes, changing workers' compensation. It's too costly, it's uncompetitive. Changing the unemployment insurance structure in Illinois, it's too costly, it's uncompetitive. Changing the lawsuit abuses and the high cost of insurance, uh, it's too, uh, too costly, uncompetitive here in Illinois. And also taking on the challenges about labor regulations. There's a lot of discussion about these issues around right to work. And one of the, we're spreading the message about the real issues here in Illinois. We do not need to be a right-to-work state. I do not support Illinois becoming a right-to-work state. However, we do need to be, make Illinois on the list. There are, there's a list of states that are right-to-work and there are a list of states that are closed shop. Many companies, many corporate employers from around America and around the world will only look to expand or move to uh, open, flexible states. Um, Illinois is not on the list of open competitors. Four hundred million dollars did that seem extreme, Governor? Kind of double what uh, the the last person made in that position, especially with your message of kind of austerity, uh, kind <laughs> of state what? workers uh, cutting the pay. And we're talking about public service, not people getting wealthy right. off the taxpayers, right? Well, you should. Uh, let's talk about this. One of the most important issues. Uh, Beth Purvis is a superstar. She's one of the few people in America who has been a very talented leader in K-12 education, early childhood education, community colleges, and higher ed. Very hard to find someone of her caliber and her talent. And she's going to help us transform education and vocational training in Illinois. We need her badly. Is her salary very full? Absolutely. Could she make a lot more than that in the private sector or outside? Absolutely. You'll find big change and real leadership in our administration. Pat Quinn's administration, very weak on education. Um, it's true that the mayors and the county chairman did not create our financial problem. They did not create the deficit at the state level. That is true. However, we as a state share more income tax revenue with local governments than most states do. And the reality is we've all got to have discipline together. And our reforms will allow local uh, governments, cities and counties, to need less income tax share because they can get a control on their own uh, burden of, of taxes. And we need to do that together. And I'll work with the mayors and county chairmen to get that. It was very well structured. But you know what? It was passed prior to our administration. I, my job is to enforce the law. We, we did a proper review of the license applications and we got those approved on a timely basis as soon as we got into office. Governor Quinn, he, he was behind that whole plan and then he dodged at the last minute that he did on many issues. Um, the fact that certain people are unhappy and are suing over not getting licenses or so, certain licenses aren't being, aren't being pursued, I don't directly control that. We've honored the law, we've, we've, we've done it in a high quality way. Frankly, I'm not a particularly big fan of the, 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 this whole issue, but you know what, if the legislature passed it, I'm gonna enforce the law, and we'll, we'll, see, we'll have things done right. One more you know what? It's not a big economic driver, in my view. The real driver is broad economic growth, increasing Illinois' competitiveness. That's where real careers will be built. That's what's gonna create real, uh, real economic growth. Okay.